Hello, hello and welcome. Silver is here with Star Citizen and this is Mustang Omega Impressions. I still can't call these like a review or anything in all honesty. I just don't feel good about calling this a review. The game is so far away from being released still. So this is an impression video on this particular vehicle you see here and this is actually the AMD edition of Mustang Omega as it says right there. So uh, this was a gift to me, this was gifted to me and uh, thank you very 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 much to the person who did just that and this video is basically for you. I was originally planning on doing my second impression video on another ship, but because of this thing being gifted to me, this is the next ship which needed an impression video. So, all honesty, all honest opinion, this ship looks awesome. Oh my word, it looks fan-freaking-tastic. It is a racing ship, yes, I know that, and that's part of the reason why I guess it was gifted to me, because I like going fast. So, yeah, it is a racing ship, and it really looks the part. Like, look at this. It is very, very sleek looking, very aerodynamic looking. Although, um, it is lacking the kind of fixed wing thing so I don't think this will do very good uh, on maneuvering in atmosphere but come on triple engines it's like seriously this thing is going to go fast and it is going to do so in a style and I love this massive Omega logo down here also danger stay clear should probably heat that off and such so uh, some maneuvering thrusters all over the place all sorts of other things. What does that thing say, huh? Oh, another danger, stay clear uh, sticker there. Well, it's not a sticker, but stay in, in all on other things. But yeah, it is a kind of uh, M50 interceptor style in the sense that it is a cockpit strapped to engines. That is basically the name of the game here. Although it does look very different from the M50 interceptor with the well, kind of a landing gear slash fin setup as these things are. So yeah, that, that is very nice. Also the weapon positioning on the insides of the wings is very nifty indeed. I like that. I really, really like that. It's like they could have been on the wing tips down here, but instead they are inside here, to closer to the hull. That makes it uh, much easier to uh, converge weapons on the same targets instead of them being like spread out here at the far edges of the wings. So I really, really enjoy that but as well of the design. And these two um, vertical wings here for stabilizing. I su suspect that this will be able to do some atmospheric maneuvering, at least in, well, very upper atmosphere, like you're coming from space to the very upper atmosphere. But I'm not so sure this can actually do a planetary landing as it is. It would require massive lift and whatnot. It's like sure, it has these couple, like these couple fixed wings here. But this is not really a, the sort of fixed wing you would need for serious atmospheric maneuvering. Like look at the size of this wing. It barely comes over the you know, past the engine block, so it's it's just not the case here. But let's walk into the cockpit of this thing and take a look from inside, because man, this is a pretty ship. And I do like the uh, AMD color set as well, the red into fading black, like you'll see how this fading here goes, from red to black, this is really nicely done coloring. So whoever did that did a massively good job. It's like good, good freaking job on that. Those stairs coming out of this, uh, well, frame hull is really, really nifty looking. Kind of like that. And this is how a cockpit should look. It's like this is how a cockpit should look. Look at this real estate, free space to actually look around 
and see, be able to see everything. It's like, yeah, this is how what I need for racing. Obviously, for combat, this is really, really awful because you your cockpit is a massive target. Someone breaches the cockpit, and suddenly you might be in having problems with your oxygen supplies and all other things if your suit gets ruptured as well. But for racing and for uh, like sitting. Scenic stuff, you just wanna fly around and look at stuff. This is perfect. Also, the cockpit being really simplistic is really, really nice. So, I like that. And also, um, see that little movement there? That is a very nice detail. I, I love that the, uh, it tries to move the joystick around. That is freaking fantastic. I, I lo absolutely love that. Right? So, yeah. But yeah, other than that, like I said, the cockpit being really simplistic is what, uh, what it's supposed to be. This is a racing ship, after all. So a cockpit doesn't need to be all that complex and whatnot. So yeah, it needs the basic stuff on it, and that's it. Don't really need all the heavy-duty combat things, in all honesty, on a racing ship. So yeah, let's take a look at the couple other... Um, things on this particular ship as well and that being taking this out to actual flight shall we oh yeah of course uh, before i actually go and get into the flying on this thing let's take a look at the couple of the camera modes here on this particular ship as well in the hangar like this it's like th this is a really good top down view on the ship this looks really really good like, uh, come on, this sea and ship looks really awesome from these angles. It's like, it looks sleek, it looks polished, and those fading from the red to black, the fact the red is at the front and then it fades to the black at the rear, that is such an awesome coloring scene. It's like, oh my word, that is beautiful. It's like, of, of course, the bald guy in the cockpit, this is a... This is a cinematic look, of of course, like this is how it would be portrayed in some kind of a, um, you know, marketing shot. It's like, this is how you will look when you fly this thing. Obviously they need some kind of a supermodel then in the cockpit to sit on the seat, but that's about it, so yeah. Now, let's go and fly with this thing, shall we? So, see, see how that works, huh? Okay, hopefully you'll excuse me the fact that I am in the broken moon here because uh, I just happen to enjoy this particular map or well place better for actually free flight than the dying star. So anyways, um, AMD version of Mustang Omega for actually flying around with this thing is fast. It's like 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 really really freaking fast so if we pump up the throttle we can get up to 270 speed that is really fast i like this like that and also this thing turns on a dime right like really this thing really really turns quickly it is very awesome for maneuvering so i really enjoy this ship Personally, when it comes to various things here, and of course, I'm not paying much attention when I'm just talking and flying randomly around. So, I am crashing into things. Thankfully, it seems to be kind of sturdy ship, and of course, I have a laser cannon. Right now, I only have one laser cannon here, so don't mind that, mind that too much. Can mount two after all. So, yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at the ship from other angles while we actually fly this. So you can add, see the actual maneuvering thrusters there in action. It's like, obviously, uh, here in space, this red and black uh, color seam looks a little more wonky, so to say. It's like, it doesn't seem, seem to be so fitting, right? But... Look at that speed. This is like, this is insanity. I, I absolutely love it. And those maneuvering thrusters also make the ship look really interesting. In the sense that they, um, they, they really give, um, 
how would I how would I call it? It's like uh, the way they turn, it uh, really gives realistic feeling to the movement associated with them. Like look at look look the way those maneuvering thrusters twist and tilt and turn when you uh, actually use them, and those engines, they really kick on a gear when you start moving with this thing. There is also really nice um, inertia feeling to this uh, particular game in general. So I really enjoy that. So yeah, that's... Uh, and this is the uh, forward view. Ob obviously I don't have the other wing anymore because I ended up crashing. So that's one reason why I only have one cannon now as well. So yeah. But this ship is gorgeous proximity alert front all right let's not go that way then let's go backwards huh all right yeah there we go so yeah and then the damage model for actually crashing part of the ship is really really nice and nifty so yeah Oh, simulation boundary. Okay, simulation boundary. that thing exists too. And then there is this cockpit view, which is kind of kind of interesting, because uh, I I love the way uh, stuff reflects on the helmet. But as you can see, the cockpit is really open. I really really love that. So let's uh, put us uh, ourselves to a uh, relative stop here. And just look around, like, see how open this cockpit is? Man, I love that. This is like, this is the shape I'm planning on using a lot for, like, scenic stuff of when I just want to look around. Because, oh my gosh, this thing having, like, being open is fantastic. It's like, you can really, really, like, look all over the damn place. I really, really love this. Okay. So, yeah. Mustang Omega, very very nice shift. Ship is like looks wise, also handling wise, extremely good. But it is a racing ship. And we are on a racing course here. Because Mustang Omega is a racing ship. However, as you can see, I'm not exactly racing. I am simply flying around. And the reason for that is I have not played this ship enough. I am not comfortable with the combination of good actual speed combined with very very good turning rate. Because to race well with this ship, you really have to be on point with those two things. You have to be able to control your ship, you know, to know with what kind of turns you can do. And that requires practice. And that's what I'm doing here, I am practicing. The combination of speed and turning rate either, well, you end up overshooting the gates because you move faster than you are used to with some other racing ships, or you turn and crash a lot because you turn faster than certain other racing ships which are fast but don't turn very well. And because of that I am practicing instead of actually just trying to race and race and race, because I'm not comfortable with it yet. Once I am, then I will be racing with this thing, and I actually see this ship being able to win every single freaking race because of the combination of really good turning with really good speed on top of it. Thank you very very much for watching, this was my impressions on the Mustang Omega AMD edition. Thank you very very much again for gifting me this thing, so much thanks for that. And hopefully I will get on point with this ship eventually to actually be able to beat everyone in the race and whatnot. If nothing else, I'm gonna enjoy flying this thing around and looking at stuff because of that massively open cockpit. Thank you very very much for watching again.